But politics and sports, real or fake, both have in common is that in this generation where information is becoming more and more perfect, where the idea of perfect information comes from RSS feeds, notifications, making sure you're up to date with anything and everything. People still aren't doing their proper research and people are still less and less, if not progressively more miseducated, uneducated. And it's embarrassing, really. Some guy put it to me perfectly, actually. Not to me, but to a thread I was following on Facebook group related to wrestling. People are so obsessed with their fantasy cards that they won't even put in time to Google the facts. And the same goes for politics. It's not just people fantasizing and saying that they want the Knicks to take on Miami Heat in the finals next year. Or this season's finals. You also got people with their liberal fantasies, or contemporary liberal fantasies, where they don't even put in the research to think, is any of this legit? <laughs> and that's just how things work. People are lazy. In the Google age, where the conception of Perfect information is constantly being notified, having your attention span reduced to nothing. I mean, right now I got my Facebook note inbox notifications. Anytime anybody inboxes me, I'm going to get it on my phone, along with my Twitter tweets and I'll get an email update anytime someone comments on this post or does something of that nature. Point being, constantly being updated, but to research the past, that takes a little more than just perfect information. I'm going to actually have to put in the time. So I'm looking at current events or things of that nature. I can't just see how this will work perfectly for my ideology and my narrative. I actually have to put in some time and energy and think, what does this all mean? What does something like, for example, the death of Nelson Mandela mean? And besides this, there is a difficulty in dealing with the rise of ideology. Leftists are good at turning things into identitarian concepts. And now the right is starting to get good at that. We can see this with the reactive sphere, how there's the thou cro mag dichotomy, there's alpha beta, there's besides alpha and beta, Brahmin or Vaisya. Technically that was just something from the Hindu caste system, but it was applied to describe the United States and how we're divided as a country. Ultimately, when that divide ends, we're going to be dealing with a nation, not a country, a nation of Pfizer's, hopefully, because I know they're going to outbreed the Brahmins. Or maybe even 
a bunch of third worlders overriding America to the point that it can't even be a country at the very least anymore. It's just a stretch of land inhabited by psychotic third worlders. Anyway, this is Mr. Ronka7. Just want you to know that you gotta put in the Google work. The Google work means everything right now. No matter what your ideology is, you look up the past, you do your research, you're gonna, you're gonna say something smart, you're gonna think something smart. Because even a liberal of the past will say something that's on point because they know their shit. Because these are academics that do academic stuff, they're not just be data crunchers or complete ignoramuses stuck on their short-sighted ideals. Anyway, I'm not going to end the video with it. Take care. I'm going to end the video with a mama me a mama guevil, and a suck my dick.